Hello Galaxy, I'm Chris Perillo, and today I returned my iPhone 8 Plus to an Apple store. Actually, I, I tried to return it to the first store, and ultimately returned it to the second Apple store that I had to visit today. And I'm going to explain to you that story. In exchange for that iPhone 8 Plus, I got an iPhone 8 Plus. This one without a factory defect. Now, if you're not following me across social, all the social media channels that you might use on a regular basis, you should, because I shared a picture of this last night to show everybody. Look, I think this is what happened. Uh, I also happened to show the uh, problem, the error, the factory issue on today's live video stream. I don't know if you knew this. I'm doing live video feeds for everybody. Head over to youtube.com slash locker gnome. That's the other YouTube channel that I have, one of the other YouTube channels. Uh, I'm thinking about bringing TLDR back. The Locker Gnome Daily Report, every day. What do you think? A live video with you and me? Q&A with you and me? AMA every day? Super Chat is enabled. Uh, you know, I'm able to answer questions and, and, and do the things that you want me to do or answer the questions that you want me to answer every day. But it's in the other channel because I don't want to flood people out in one channel. So uh, you should subscribe and turn on notifications for this channel and that one. So you get double the Chris Perillo every day if you're missing it. You need to get it. Uh, effectively, the thumbnail for the video was taken from this morning's live video stream, uh, showing, you know, the, the best I could, the, the, the issue that was in this corner. I didn't even notice it until, uh, I, I effectively smud uh, wiped a smudge away for the second time uh, in the same area over the past few days, recognizing, wow, there, there's an issue. It, it looked like a, an underpour at the factory of, of the oleophobic uh, coating. So I, I, I knew that I would have to get it replaced. It shouldn't have been a problem. That's kind of why, what I really wanted to talk through and believe you me if it sounds like I'm talking a lot the actual experience took longer so uh the first thing I did was I tried the Apple support app and if you've never tried it before it's actually pretty genius really simple Apple is not the first company to do this not definitely not the last but this this built-in support mechanism was terribly convenient uh, I probably should not have used it uh, hindsight 2020, but yeah, I figured I'd give it a shot. I was able to attach a photo demonstrating the problem, talk through the issue, and it was still suggested that I go in and see a genius. I'm like, oh, why didn't I just schedule an appointment? Uh, which I could have and should have done. Uh, she offered, the chat agent offered to do it for me. I'm like, yeah, sure, why not? It may be faster. It was not faster. It was not much more expedited. I could have done it better. I said, all right, well, I want to go to this store right around this time frame. And uh, then uh, the, the, she booked me at another store because she was trying to match the time frame. I'm like, no, 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 I don't want that store. It's further away. This is a store I wanted. So again, it would have been easier if I would have just set the appointment after having, uh, you know, basically recognize what the problem most likely was. Um, and this is this is definitely something that I knew I would probably just get a new phone for. So she books me into the store, and today was the appointment. I arrive to the appointment uh, and uh, uh, effectively was, you know, hoping to get the, the phone replacement. So I get checked in. I explain what's going on. He sees the problem. It was pretty obvious uh, and, and suggests, well, either we can replace the screen or just get a new phone outright. I'm like, he said it's probably just as easy to get a new phone outright. I'm like, yeah, that's that's what I was hoping to do. I don't want to mess with the screen. Um, and he says, well, as he goes through uh, his, uh, his app, he said, we're out of inventory. There's no inventory here. I'm thinking, well, I kind of wish I would have known that from the chat agent, knowing full well that it was likely going to be a hardware replacement and trying to explain the problem as a hardware problem. It was very clearly not a software problem. It was showing up here on the, the chin uh, of, of the iPhone. So there's no way it was a software problem. And it was otherwise the phone was in pristine condition, hardly used, hardly touched. So uh, um, the, uh, 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 the next step was, well, showing me where there was an inventory for the, my particular model. And he said, well, this store has it. It's got a green light, which means there are over 10. And uh, he said, well, you may want to call ahead because, you know, we can't really reserve devices for people. And I'm like, I don't want to call ahead because every time I get on the phone, I got to, you know, spell my name 13 times and explain the problem 14 times. And it's just, uh, it's just easy to get in the car and go. So I said, all right, I'll, I'll, I'm not going to call. I said, I'm not going to call. I'm just going to go. All right. I, I'm, I'm trying to, I'm trying to leave. Very friendly. Everybody in the entire process was very friendly. So I get in the car, drive 20 minutes away. Uh, and uh, effectively walk in the door and say, I'm, I'm here, this is the problem. And the guy kind of looks at it. And he's, he's not exactly sure what the problem is. I'm like, here, look at it. He's I'm, I'm like, you got to hold it at the right angle. Wipe your fingerprint on it and move it around. That, that hold, hold it at a different angle and you'll see it's the coating that just is not 
right. I, I, I'm, I'm home. I'm, this is how late of a, in the day I'm doing this. I haven't even booted this up for the first time, so hopefully there's no issues, and I don't have to go through the whole problem again of, of getting it replaced. So uh, the, there is a point to this story, too. Stay with me. So uh, he said, all right, well, you, you stay here in this area, and talk. we'll get you checked in with a couple of techs and, 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 and get the problem resolved. All right, great. So I start hanging out. About 10 minutes go by, and the same guy comes up to me again. He said, you know, can I help you? I'm like, yeah, I'm waiting for the, the text. I thought he was going to go get a tech for me at that point, but he was merely there to show me that the techs are right there. So I didn't know that the, the, the gentlemen I needed to speak to were, like, just a few inches away. I'm like, oh, okay. So then I wait in line again, and, and, and I talk to a guy, and he looks at it. He sees the problem pretty, uh, pretty uh, quickly, and he says, all right, well, let's get you into the system. Let's get you set up with a genius bar appointment. Uh, just get your name in. We're going to try to expedite it uh, because I can see what the problem is. I know what the solution is. He knew it was going to be replacing the phone uh, with a new one. So he checks me in and everything. He said, all right, we're going to try to get this done as expediently as possible. I'm paraphrasing. He said, if you could sit over there at that table, I'm like, not a problem. So I go sit at the table and uh, just wait. And as I'm waiting, I'm listening to another genius. Uh, and I don't use that word sarcastically. I think that's what they call themselves. Uh, basically teaching a class. He had a few bits of information that were incorrect, but I didn't interrupt. I didn't play that card. I was just kind of like, eh. I really wanted to say something. It's like in my nature, like, well, actually, <laughs> but I didn't do that. So uh, I'm waiting. And, and then in then five, 10 minutes, uh, he comes back and he says, well, I'm talking to my manager now. We're trying to decide whether we pull the inventory from this pile or that pile. And I'm thinking, I don't care which pile you, you get it from. Just give me the phone. We'll do the swap and, and, and send me on my way. I, I didn't say that. I want I, I'm not going to play that card. It's just, it's, just, it's just not right. They're doing their job. I'm just trying to get out of there. I don't want to be hanging out in an Apple store all day long. I can think of way better things to do with my time. So, uh, 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 although they did have an R2-D2 standing up to use with the R2 D or with the uh, Star Wars app, the augmented reality thing, I didn't bother going over there because I just wanted to get my phone and go. So, I wait, and another 10 minutes goes by, and uh, this gentleman cruises by with a box. Now, I don't know if this is the same box, but he says, I got your phone. I just, I'm looking for someone to sell it to you. And I, I guess I was kind of puzzled. I'm like, okay, that, that's fine. You, you, you've got my phone. Who's going to sell it to me? Like, we've got a store full of Apple employees, geniuses. I don't know if they're all geniuses. I'm sure they are. I'm, I'm sure they're smart. But uh, uh, it, the store is full of customers. It was busy. It was definitely not a light day. Everyone was there for different reasons. And, and so he, I said, yeah, just find someone if you can. <laughs> That'd be great. Uh, and he cruises on by. And uh, I, I sit there for another 10 or 15 minutes. And then I get the notification that my Genius Bar appointment is, is, is ready. The new one, the second one, right, at the second store. And another guy comes up to me. He says, you know, are you Chris? I'm like, yeah, I'm Chris. And he says, oh, what seems to be the problem? So this, this, is, another, this is another reason I get so frustrated with having initiated the support uh, mechanism in the first place and effectively creating a ticket for this problem on the chat app. So I've, I've got a big problem with companies that put you through the process once and again and again and again and again. I don't necessarily fault them for taking me, sending me to a different store for inventory, but the fact that I have to re-explain the problem is maddening because by the time I get to have to explain it the fourth time, I'm just like, dude, forget it. I'm, that's it. I'm done. I'm, I'm leaving. Like, have you ever felt that way? So it's just like talking to a customer service agent on the phone and feeling like you know more than they do. So I'm not saying that. I'm not, that's not what I'm saying at all. It's just that there was already a support ticket created by the first chat agent who created the, the first Genius Bar appointment. I had established the problem. I had a photo of the problem. I demonstrated the problem. I explained the problem. I just didn't want to do it again. So the guy, you know, he says, well, you know, what's going on? And I, I show it to him. I'm like, well, it's basically, it's, this is what's going on. This is what I think it is. He said, I've never seen that before. I'm like, you're not the only one. I've never seen it before. That I know of, it's never been a problem, at least with iPhones. So I, I was a little taken aback. But, uh, you know, he was uh, just as expeditious in terms of getting, uh, you know, everything that needed to be uh, picked up. He was able to go and get a phone because I said, well, there's a guy who allegedly has the phone. That's the phone for me. But I don't know, what, I didn't catch his name. He was there and gone. I, I, at that point, it was maybe the fifth Apple Store employee that I've interacted with today on the same problem. Uh, so he says, well, I'm just going to go into the pack and get one. I'm like, thank you. He had not the, he, this guy must have been the real genius because he had not just the ability to get the phone, but to actually sell it to me. Amazing. So 
so he comes back and, you know, we're checking things and, and the barcodes and everything. And I said, all right, well, let me make sure everything gets cleaned up. And we're just kind of, you know, bantering back and forth. Uh, you know, I, I got everything set up and, and did the exchange. He was doing all the, the punching the numbers and everything. Um, you know, part of their system is definitely automated. But then he, he also uh, recognized me from Tech TV at that point at the end of the conversation. He said, you know, were you on Tech TV? Like, yep. And, and I said, I still kind of do it every day. Well, now I'm doing it here and and also uh tldr rebooting that over on uh, youtube.com slash locker gnome subscribe to both channels turn on notifications for both channels let's interact let's keep talking about more than just apple stuff uh so the uh, uh y- y- the conversation y- you know evolved i'm like yeah yeah i still do it i still do a lot of video but you know i've been doing what i do for 20 years uh and and uh um i also mentioned i'm like you probably don't want to be watching the videos i'm doing right now <laughs> And he he wasn't exactly sure how to take it, but I explained to him. I said, I just, I think Apple's going the wrong direction. I, I have this problem, that problem, this problem. And I wasn't like unloading on him, but I was, t- I was warning him. Like if he comes and looks at the channel, I'm like, you're going to get hit upside the head with some information. Um, m- you know, my perspective that apparently is mirrored by quite a few others. And I'm very grateful for that. But you know, he was, he was nice as was everybody in the entire process. And, you know, that's really what I want to, you know, dovetail back into a conversation that I think we were having last week. Uh, I was explaining why it's not so simple to just dismiss Apple simply because one thing isn't working well. It's when several things stop working well that I start to feel unsettled. Part of the value of Apple isn't necessarily just what's on paper. If I had the same problem with another device, could I have walked into any other store uh, that's directly tied in the manufacturing and distribution of said product. Could I have walked into a Google store? I don't think I could have. I, I don't know if one exists. Possibly within you know a, a certain radius uh, uh, that I would find convenient wherever I went. I don't know. I don't think they have many Google stores. I think they should. I wish they did. And, and even if it wasn't Google outright, with a Google phone, if it was one of Google's uh, OEMs in terms of who licenses their product, just like you know the classic PC conundrum, then you're playing the blame game at that point. It becomes, it becomes a very disjointed customer service issue, which for as disjointed as today's customer service was, was still relatively seamless in, in the grand scheme of things. That is one of the things that I, I, I will always give some of the highest highest marks to in terms of when I've had problems with Apple, very rarely will I not get that problem addressed. And so I feel that it is, uh, uh, you know, still very much a value to me, one that I would absolutely miss if I was not, you know, tied into Apple's products as much, which I am leaning away from outright for the aforementioned reasons. Uh, I would miss this. I, I absolutely would. Uh, because it's an extreme value. It, it makes the, 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 the prospect of switching or using anything apart from Apple that less compelling. Because they can't, they can't necessarily sell that. You just got to recognize it's, it's still a circumstance you're going to have to deal with. As I pointed out in the beginning, you know, uh, the app experience for chatting and, and doing customer service is, is certainly not the, the only, uh, you know, for, for, for Apple. But it's, it's probably more within the realm of issues that you're having with software and maybe not necessarily with hardware. I haven't had any other experiences like that, so I can't speak to them. All I know is that when Apple you know, builds its reputation on you know, controlling the entire experience stem to stern, hardware, software, service, sales, support, everything all under one umbrella, I don't know anybody else who does that. Uh, Google, kind of. But you can't walk into a store. I, if I if I had a Google phone from Google and, and had this similar type of issue, I don't know if I would have been able to expedite the process. I wouldn't have been able to have a turnaround that was that quick. I don't think I would have been overnighted a, a new device. I don't know. I can't speak to not having that experience because I haven't had it with Google. I have only had uh, certain experiences with Apple. And I think that's a very compelling thing that so many people don't think about, the customer service. And so... It doesn't surprise me that customer satisfaction with Apple is so high because inevitably when things are copacetic, when things are going fine, you don't think anything of it. It's when things are not going fine and you're having an issue. It's how customer service takes care of you that ultimately, uh, you know, sells you on them again. And I, I, I will say that it's not enough to make me continue to be interested in what Apple's doing, specifically with their design decisions uh, and their performance decisions. I ended up using the uh, the iPhone 7 Plus as the interim while I have to get this new one, uh, new iPhone 8 Plus set up. And I, I, 
I wanted to chuck the iPhone 7 across the parking lot. It was that bad. Uh, and not to say that the iPhone 8 Plus spoiled me, because the iPhone 8 Plus on iOS 11, oh, 11.0.1 now, it's still not good. But, like, it's so bad. iOS 11 is so bad on the iPhone 7. Like, I honestly think the hardware is faster than the software, but the software can't keep up. Like, I'd, I'd exit out of an app, and it would just jump to the home screen. No animation at all. It would just jump, like... The animation didn't have a chance to happen. The timing is so far off. The amount of uh, of jank that's present on iOS 11 in, in an iPhone 7 is is absolutely maddening. I cannot imagine anybody using iOS 11 on anything but uh, an iPhone 8 um, outright. And I'm not even going to say the iPhone 10. Even though the first Apple Store employee said, hey, you want to take a look at the 10? I'm like, nope, I think it's going to be a UX catastrophe. You, want, you sure you don't want to? I'm like, I'm good. I've seen, I've seen enough screenshots. I know what I like. I know what I don't like. And if I have this visceral, vomit-inducing kind of reaction when I see disgusting design, it's, it's not for me. Uh, let me put it this way. I'm having problems with the iPhone 8 in iOS 11. Uh, so that was not fun to go, back to, an I or to go back to an older iOS device, an iPhone 7 Plus. So I can't wait to get off the iPhone 7 Plus, and I feel so bad for everybody uh, everybody else out there uh, who's who's got one. Uh, and the iPhone 8's not that much better. It's it's just a little better, but you still have farts all over the, the operating system. Not just layout farts, like software farts and, and, and animation burps. Any other kind of bodily function I can bring up here that's relatively kid-friendly? Uh, hiccups? Eh, that's not as much fun as a burp or a fart. So, you know, I kind of wish I could fart. Like, you could have hiccups. That would be fun. Like, can you imagine if if hiccups were farts? If you farted like hiccups? <laughs> That'd be cool. Anyway, uh, <laughs> it's been a long day. Uh, I, I wanted to relate that story, if only to get around to explaining again why I believe that Apple really kind of leads the pack. But it's still not enough for me to be interested in their device and potentially leaving their ecosystem entirely while still doing my best to maintain, and maintain objectivity. It's a value you don't see on paper, and I think that their customer service, despite, despite its various shortcomings today, was uh, stellar. It really was. But, but that's by comparison to, to every other really poor customer service experience I've ever had. I, I just don't want that. I, life's too short. I want a good device. I don't think the iPhone 8 Plus with iOS 11 is a good device. I'm working on some alternatives, folks. There's only so much I can do. It's not easy. Chris Perillo wasn't built in a day. So, uh, uh, you know, I, I'm, I, I'm, I'm very grateful to be able to share these experiences and stories with you, if only to have deeper conversations uh, about these devices rather than the devices for what they are. You know, let's go beyond the specs. Let's talk beyond the specs. Let's talk about experiences. This was an experience. Um, so thank you for sticking with me. Thank you for watching. Thank you for liking. Thank you for hitting the notification button, subscribing, following across social. Tune in to tomorrow's live feed. In fact, I may be doing two live streams tomorrow. One in this channel uh, where I'll talk about living with the iPhone 8 Plus uh, for a week in, in kind of a, my one-week review. Uh, and then the, uh, the TLDR in the other YouTube channel that you're probably already subscribed to but f completely forgot about. I'm doing my best to, to keep doing this. I, I just... Really appreciate your support and whatever you give it. As a, as a patron on uh, uh, chrisperillo.com, that redirects to the Patreon campaign. Uh, it Through uh, 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 Super Chat in the live video feeds. If you use YouTube Red and you watch my videos, you know, the ads. I mean, it all adds up. It really genuinely does. And, and I really appreciate you uh, sharing this time with me. Uh, I'm, I'm definitely uh, ready for bed, but I got to set this phone up. <laughs> it's a little late. I love you. I appreciate you, and may the Force be with you.